Hey YouTube, got another very quick unboxing. I've had an issue with moving my computer around this week and the wireless speed has dropped from, I get a really good fast signal here, I normally get about 68 uh, Mbps. It's dropped to under four. So uh, I have a presentation to make a webinar next week which is gonna be impossible at that speed. So what I can do is move the entire um, computer installation around or I can try something else. So I'm gonna try this thing which is the TP-Link uh, the AV, AV500 Nano Powerline Adapter. I'll show you close-ups in a second. Uh, and what this will do is send the signal from the router through the electrical system in the uh, power circuits effectively via a cable. So it's cable from this to the router uh, and then from here through the electrical circuit and then um, the other one, the, the other adapter is going to be near the computer and then from there it's a cable into the computer. So effectively it's wired, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what it should do is give me a significant speed boost. I'll tell you when I've installed it whether it works uh, and what difference it makes, but let me show you what's in the box first of all. So we'll do that now. So as you can see, this is the TL, uh, which version is this one? This is the TLPA411 kit, and this gives a theoretical speed on the power line circuit of 500 Mbps. It has a power saving mode, you can connect a network storage hard drive, it has one button encryption 128 bit, so that if your neighbour had one of these plugged in he wouldn't be able to hack into your uh, circuit. Multimedia streaming, multiplayer gaming, IPTV set top box, all those good things. Um, but the idea is that it will give you a very fast signal if you're in a room that's so far away from your wireless router that it's not getting a full signal through the walls or the floorboards or whatever. So let's actually have a look at the uh, inside of what we get here. So you get some instructions as you would expect over here, quick installation guide and so on, a little driver disc or resource CD, I'm not sure what's on it yet, I'll have a look. These are incredibly tiny, uh, these are the actual power line adapters, they just plug into the socket, that's a UK one. And then your Ethernet cable, RJ45, goes from here to your computer or from here to the router. Uh, very, very small, very neat. On the front we have uh, I think this is the Easy Connect button and then some signals to tell you how the operation is going on. I'll give you a close-up of the actual unit itself. Let me do that now. So that's what it looks like close-up. What I'm going to do now is actually uh, install these, connect them, uh, do the initialization and the, the synchronization and the security and all that kind of a thing. Uh, and then I'm actually going to see what signal I get on my computer where I'm currently getting less than 4 Mbps wirelessly. So let me go do that now and then I'll tell you how we get on. Okay, so what I've done is I've installed this. I've connected one of the adapters to my router. I've connected the other adapter to my computer using the RJ45, the Ethernet cables. Uh, and so let's actually just begin the test and see what happens. So what I was getting before was under four and wow, 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 look at that. That's, that's actually astonishing. Uh, I would not have believed that possible actually, but effectively the power line adapters are using the electrical circuitry as a giant cable, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, and what I'm getting, 65.5 MBP, wow, <laughs> that's astonishing. And then the upload speed is coming in at, what are we looking at, 17 or 18, which is about the maximum I have on this connection that I have here. Uh, that's the theoretical maximum I would get. 19 is the theoretical maximum, so look at that. Absolutely astonishing. Amazing. Uh, well, it works. I'm delighted, uh, and it solved a problem for me, and the price was, well, I'll show you the price online now, but it was uh, more than good enough for me to take this particular option to solve the problem. I had thought about having a new uh, master socket installed to have the router and the BT Infinity in a different room and all that kind of a thing. Quite expensive to do, wiring, drilling holes in the wall, all kinds of things like that. Didn't really want it. So this solution is absolutely ideal. And it means I could take this from one room to another if I needed to, so it's portable, and I can share it with different, uh, different computers and so on, which is absolutely wonderful. Really good, really good solution, I think. I'm very impressed. Thanks a lot for watching, and while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you next time. Bye now.